Yo, it's Trent. Hope everyone's having a good day. Make sure you sub, share, like, comment, all that. Um, hope you're having a good week, too. Pretty gloomy out, but we got a good one today, right? We got Lace Cigarette Story Time. And also, just quickly, um, if you're wondering by Lace Cigarettes what I mean by that, I mean literally smoking anything that isn't tobacco or weed, right? Because those two, I don't care about those two, but it's about anything other than that that I was smoking without the knowledge of right or just you know along those lines i have about three stories so let's talk about that also one of the stories i don't know if you guys have seen it or not i posted it like eight or nine months ago it's called i accidentally smoked pcp or i was laced with pcp right that's one of my stories today now if you haven't seen that i'll link it right up uh it'll be over here at about the one minute mark so like five seconds from now it should be up there watch it if you haven't it's good right so we'll start with that one just in case um, you've seen it or haven't seen it. We'll get it out of the way, right? So for that one, that was actually a blunt. It wasn't a cigarette, right? But I was at a party like 40 minutes away from my house. I didn't drive. Um, and we had been there a while, right? And there we weren't even in a house. We were like in the, in like a, I don't even want to say a guest house. It was like a garage made into a rec room, right? Like it had two, three couches, a bar, and a pool table and something else like a bookshelf or something like it wasn't that big right but there was probably 70 to 100 people in there and then outside of it too there's people hanging out right so i was in there for a while with like four of my friends and i got hot and anxious quick right or not too quick but like an hour or an hour or maybe two hours right and i wasn't drinking but i started getting hot right and i was anxious i wanted to leave so i got out of the party scenario and i'm waiting by the cars where all the cars are parked right for my friends cuz it was too loud and i couldn't find most of them i saw a couple of them in there but i was like let me just wait for them so while i'm waiting right my phone's getting low i'm at like i think i was at like 8 or 8% or 7% and i was getting anxious cuz i wanted to leave and it's not like i could uber if my phone's dead right so i was just hoping my friends would be leaving soon i was sitting there right and i started having a panic attack basically i don't know why i mean it really wasn't a big deal i could have just continued sitting there but i didn't have water and i was hot i was thirsty i just didn't feel all the way good you know i wanted to leave so i'm sitting by the car and having an anxiety attack or panic attack whatever you want to call it right and this dude walks up to me, he's smoking a blunt, and he's he could tell that I was not okay, right? Because I'm sitting there going like this. I'm like, <sighs> I have my eyes covered, and I was just breathing heavy, right? Just like, <sighs> I wasn't expecting anyone to be nearby. And he goes, hey, you want to hit this? And he's holding a blunt, right? So I'm like, yeah, I want to hit that. And I grab it because I was anxious, and, you know, I'm freaking out. Weed will calm me down. I also had cotton mouth already, so I was like, what's a little bit of weed going to do, you know? So I take a hit because I thought it was weed, you know, and the moment I hit it, it tasted kind of uh like plastic chemically, like chemical plasticky, like it was not weed, you know, it did not feel right. And I hit it that one time and I looked at him and I said, is this weed? And I gave him kind of a weird look. I was like, is this weed, you know, and he didn't say anything and I didn't feel any immediate effects. So I just assumed it was maybe like shitty weed or something, right? So I take another rip, which was the dumbest thing I could have done. I shouldn't have done that, right? Um, a big old fat rip too, like a, like a, you know, like a, I'm about to pass this blunt back. Let me get a rip so I actually get high, you know? But it tasted so wrong and so gross, right? And for a little bit of time, um, well, not too much time, a couple minutes maybe, one or two minutes passed. And I started feeling weird, like weird, weird, you know? And luckily, my friends, right as I started feeling the effects of what I ended up learning was PCP, right? As I'm starting to feel these effects, which was really just, uh, it almost felt like doing cocaine at the start, right? Like my heart started beating like crazy. And I got kind of hyper, not like excited or mad or anything like that, but just hyper, you know, like I drink like five Red Bulls or something. And my color, there was colors, but it wasn't like acid where it's like fractals and stuff. It was like, uh, I've said this before, it was like someone took a streamer or like an airhead and like wiped it across my eyes, you know? It was like tints of colors, but it didn't feel good. It wasn't like an enjoyable high. It was like a fast pace high and I was not trying to go fast pace. I was trying to slow down, you know? So my friends finally get together and we drove off uh, where I thought we were going home, which made me even more anxious, but I was starting to get kind of so high i wasn't anxious anymore but i was on the brink of like 
realizing what I had done and just not realizing, just in not enjoying the ride, but riding the high ride, you know? So we're in the car, I'm seeing all these colors, I'm kind of flipping out, my friend's next to me, he's drunk as shit, so he can't really calm me down, but he's there, you know? And we pull up to this beach because the sunrise is in like an hour or two, right? And I just laid on this park bench until the morning, or I, I guess not until the morning, but I remember we got there, and at first I thought I was going to throw up because I was uh like overstimulated, you know? Like it felt like there was too much going on in my world of drugs, you know? So I laid back on this bench. And I looked at this, uh, I was looking at this tree blowing the wind and looking at that mixed with the morning sky because it was dark, but it was turning to morning. So it was like the red orange sky, you know, in the morning. And it was it was pretty nice at the end, but it was not a nice experience because I didn't know what it was for the longest time until I Googled stuff and asked people that had taken it. And even now I'm still skeptical. I'm like, was it really PCV? What was it? I don't know, but it was sounds like it. a lot of colors but not nice um now let's get to the lace cigarettes the actual cigarettes right the first one comes when i was kicked out i was 16 living with a kid older than me um not living with really but just kicked out staying with him at the time you know it's not like i moved all my shit over there i just had a backpack of stuff right so i'm hanging out staying on his couch and um the first time it ever happened, we were actually in the attic, right? And we were smoking, or we were rolling up to smoke weed, right? Uh, not a big deal, fine with me. I love smoking, right? I love getting high, normally high, not anything hard, right? And But at the time, I was starting to dabble in the cocaine, right? So I wasn't um, avoiding it, but I also wasn't, I wouldn't have smoked it if it was presented to me. That's what the important part, that's why it counted as being laced, because I would not have smoked it if I knew, right? But it was either it was like a cigarette that he unraveled and he would stick weed in there so it would kind of be like a spliff and that's what he would do a lot right but this time he must have either pushed coke on top or i mean i hate to say it but i guess crack like i don't know but i don't think he had both i feel like he only had coke but coke isn't supposed to do anything if you just smoke it you know so i don't know but he ended up handing it to me right and i hit it and i got this uh this feeling back here of like um like in between a plastic feeling, like I was talking about the chemicals earlier, in between that and like numb almost. Like it felt like I went to the dentist and they numbed my throat up with a shot. It did not feel uh, necessarily nice, but it didn't feel, it wasn't like horrible. It wasn't like I hit it and I was like, ah, you know, I hit it and I was like, oh, what is that? That is, that is not, what is that? You know, it was kind of like that. It was like, ah, uh, not what I expected, but not hating it either, you know, but it was not very cool, right? But then I started getting a headache and that's where, this is why I'll never do that stuff again. Well, this isn't the exact reason, but it sure helps, right? At, quickly after smoking that, and I didn't smoke like a lot of it at all. I took that one hit and gave it back to him, right? But I started getting a headache. My head, not even like a horrible headache where it was like, boom, boom, like a drum, but it was one of those fast ones. Where it was like, dun, 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 you know? So that's what makes me think, what if I smoked crack? But I don't think it was at all. I think it was just he poured coke in there because he didn't have crack. So, But still horrible. I wish I never experienced that in my life. Absolutely horrible. Don't do those things. And the last one, same exact scenario, basically. But this time it was a party at this kid's house or get together, whatever you want to call it, right? And this time there was a girl in the mix, right? There was this girl who was um, a hard drug user, let's just say, but she was really cute, right? And she was rolling one up and I thought it was a cigarette. I should have just asked her. Well, she was rolling. She was doing the same thing he was, the weed and the cigarette thing, right? Or so I thought. I should have just taken into account that no one's going to put weed into a cigarette anymore. Like that's, no one does that. But I was younger, you know, I wasn't thinking right. So she hands it to me because we're just chatting up sitting next to each other, right? I rip it, same exact feeling, right? But this time... You know, I knew what was to come off the one hit and I did not want to take any more, right? But this girl was really cute and she was huffing on that thing, you know, and just talking to me. So I was like, what's one more hit going to do, you know? And I took that one and it put, it's the worst headache I've ever had. I've had concussions, keep in mind. I've had like five concussions and this is the worst head pain I've ever felt. I was laying on this couch and it felt like someone was just stabbing needles into my head and my throat again just felt like it didn't exist. Like it felt like someone poured ice and like plastic ice, like like if you could get a plastic ice cube and it was still cold, that's what it felt like I swallowed. It was horrible, right? Even though I just smoked. But never do any lace stuff. But you got to think about it. It wasn't my fault either for the first one, at least. The second one 
We can argue about that one was a little bit my fault, you know, for hitting it a second time. But the first time, I was fully expecting Mary Jane, you know, and I got <laughs> like coke or crack like not good at all you know and the throat numb plastic feeling headache felt like I was gonna die for a little bit but I was fine um but I would never do those things willingly and I never want to do those things so you know fun stuff <laughs> good story for a gloomy day you know but I hope you guys enjoyed make sure you sub share like comment all that check out my other stories um thank you guys for all the support recently too it's been wild um I've gotten a lot of subs and a lot of views in just this past week. My mo my two most popular videos are the top two videos now. And they're posted four days ago and five days ago. So, like, that's insane. I want to say thank you, all of you guys, for that. Um, and anybody, I you know, I've been watching YouTube a long time. I used to, I mean, I still like rappers. But I really idolized a couple of them when I was younger, you know. And, you know, there's a couple that are, like, you know, we're all in this together, but a lot of people call, you know, they'll be like, oh, my subs or my fans or I hate that shit. I really don't like that because we're all the same people. And the only difference, like the only little difference is that I'm showing myself on a camera and posting it like that's nothing that takes zero skill whatsoever. It just takes a tiny bit of confidence and not caring what people think. So I know I'm not anything special. You know, if this ever takes off somewhere. I just want you guys to know that I view everybody the same and I love you guys and, you know, I'll always make sure I give back if everything works out. But thank you guys for watching. Be safe and peace out.